Hello, in this video we're going to uh, find all the integer solutions of this Diophantan equation x cubed plus 2y cubed plus 4z cubed. So the first thing that I notice is that two of these integers are even, therefore the third one was, would also have to be integer, uh, even. So x cubed is 2 times 2z cubed minus y cubed. So this means x cubed is even but x cubed even means x is even. So if I take that and plug it back into the original equation, I would have x equals 2 times something. Let's say it's 2 times a. So I'll plug that back. I get 2a cubed plus 2y cubed equals 4z cubed. We will divide everything by 2. Instead of 8a cubed, I will get 4a cubed plus y cubed plus 2 z cubed equals 2 z cubed. Now what I do notice again is that these two are even so y cubed is even so that's 2 times z cubed minus 2 a cubed so this means y cubed is even which means y is even which means y is 2 times something for some integer b which means I can just take that plug back into the original equation again I will get 4a cubed, so I'm plugging that back into here, 4a cubed plus 2b all cubed equals 2 times z cubed. Divide both sides by 2, we get 2a cubed plus 4b cubed equals z cubed. But that means z cubed is even. And if z cubed is even, that means z is even. And that tells us z is 2 times some c for some integer c. And that we can plug back into the equation right here. We get 2a cubed plus 4b cubed equals 2c cubed. Raising that to part of 3, we get 8c cubed. Dividing everything by 2, we get a cubed plus 2b cubed equals 4 c cubed. So to take a look at this one and compare that with the original equation. It was x cubed plus 2y cubed equals 4z cubed. So here's what we got. We had x cubed plus 2y cubed equals 4z cubed and from here we deduce that x must be 2a, y must be 2b, z must be 2c, and we also have the exact same equation. We have a cubed plus 2b cubed equals 4c cubed. This seems like something that can be repeated over and over and over, and it seems that there's something wrong with this. So what does that mean? It means that x, y, z must be 0. How do we articulate that now? So here is how we can articulate that mathematically, completely, rigorously. So the claim is if x cubed plus 2y cubed equals 4z cubed for some integers x, y, z, then they would have to be 0. Then x, y, and z are all 0. So let's assume that's not the case. So assume on the contrary that this is not the case. We are going to use a method called uh, infinite descent, proof by infinite descent. So what does that mean? It means among all of the solutions, we are going to take a look at the smallest solution and then we're going to get a contradiction. So how do we take the smallest solution? In what way? Since these in solutions are integers, I'm going to take the absolute values of the solutions and I'm, I'm going to make sure that is the smallest. So suppose xyz is a non-zero solution, meaning that all of the xyz are not zero, at least one of them is non-zero, with absolute value of x plus absolute value of y plus absolute value of z the smallest. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to assume that this is the smallest possible. 
Now I'm going to repeat that process that we have. So we had x cubed plus 2y cubed equals 4z cubed. We know this. So by what we showed above, x is 2a, y is 2b, z is 2c, and a cubed plus 2b cubed is equal to 4c cubed for some integers a, b, c. But if you look at this a, b, c, a, b, c is another solution and if you look at absolute value of A plus absolute value of B plus absolute value of C, that's exactly half of the absolute value of X plus absolute value of Y plus absolute value of Z, which is less than absolute value of X plus absolute value of Y plus absolute value of Z because it's a non-trivial solution. All X, Y, Z are not zero. And this is a contradiction. So what does that contradiction show? It means the original assumption that x, y, z is non-zero is, um, is an incorrect assumption, which means x, y, z must all be zero. This method is called method of infinite descent. I have a couple of other videos on this topic, so feel free to check those out. I'll put the link in the description, and I will see you in the next video.